All right, we're down to the last two questions in this section here about mutations. And question seven asks, will all base substitution mutations affect the resulting amino acid? Why or why not? Will all base substitution mutations affect the resulting amino acid? This is a simple yes or no. And so, I ask for a vote or something. I call on somebody, the next person in line. And uh, what's the answer? Well, the answer is, what do you think? It is no. What do you mean no? Well, look at all this, uh, all this repetition on this uh, genetic code chart. You know, a mutation might just change it from one loo to another loo or something. Yeah. And why is the answer no to this question? Why will all base substitution mutations not necessarily change the amino acid because of the property of the genetic code called what? Starts with R. Redundancy. The genetic code has redundancy. And again, we're talking about base substitution where one of these letters, just one of these letters gets changed a base substitution mutation. It will not always affect the resulting amino acid because the genetic code has what again? Redundancy. Well now let's check out see if we really understand this. Uh, number eight. A mutation to which base of a codon is least likely to affect the amino acid coded for. What was that again? A mutation of which base, first, second, or third base, is least likely to affect the amino acid coded for. Hmm. Another one where we could uh, take a vote. I do it in class, of course. And uh, about what do you think? First, second, or third base. Again, a uh, mutation of which of those bases is least likely to affect the amino acid coded for. And that would be... Well, look at the uh, genetic code to figure it out. I see four pros right here. I'm four pros. What type of mutation moves you from this pro to this pro to this pro to this pro? A what? A third base mutation. A third base mutation in this case would produce, would be a silent mutation. What's a silent mutation? A mutation that does not affect the resulting amino acid. What about a first base mutation? If your mutation changed it from C to U or U to G, the first base, would that change the amino acid? Almost always. Now I do see uh, an arch here, if that was changed to an arch there. Yeah, slight possibility that a first base mutation uh, might not change, but almost always a first base mutation will change the resulting amino acid. What about a second base mutation? Uh, I'm not sure there's any uh, second base mutation. I'd have to study it. But I don't think there are any second base mutations that would not change the resulting amino acid. I mean, going from phi to sear, or sear to tyr, or pro to his, second base mutation moves you across the chart the way this is set up this way. But a third base mutation does what as far as the way this box this chart is set up, it moves you up and down in a certain box. Third base mutation. What about this one here? If you got to this box, would a third base mutation change anything? No, it's going to be seared. If you get to this box, if you get AG in your anticodon, it doesn't matter what the third base is. It can mutate up and down. You're still going to get seared. Same for this third base. All pros. Same for this. All thrusts. Same for this. All alice, same for this, all vowels, all loos. Now, uh, all arches. What about over here? What if you arrive at this box because your anticodon was U, C, something? And so, first base U, second base C, you're here. Now, will the third base mutation change the resulting amino acid? Huh? What do you think? Uh, is the answer yes? Is the answer no? I think it's neither one. What is the answer? Will the third base mutation, 
assuming the first and second base got you to this box right here, will the third base mutation change the resulting amino acid? Sometimes a seer could mutate to this other seer. That wouldn't change it. Or this seer could mutate to an arch. A third base mutation might change it in that case. A lot of cases, you can see the same amino acid in all four positions within the box, so to speak. And so the answer again, a mutation to which base of a codon is least likely to affect the amino acid coded for, first, second, or third base? It's which one? Third base. That is correct. All right. We have now finished this section on mutations.